All right, in this video, we're going to set up conditional logic. So first, we're going to set it up for the which gateway field. And this is only going to show when the payment type is credit card. Okay. Um, the next one are the individual credit card fields. So first for the Stripe field, we're going to say only show this when the option selected is Stripe. And then for the square field, same thing. We're only going to show the square field when which gateway is square. Okay. Um, and now if we go ahead and update this, we can preview it. So here in the preview, you'll see pay later would be like cash or check. Credit card gives you the gate other which gateway option. Now you're going to notice when I select Stripe, it's not doing anything. Square showing an error message. Now that's because I have not set up the feeds for either of these fields yet, or these these processors yet. So technically, uh, they're not going to work until there's a feed. Um, but one other thing we can do, uh, let's add an HTML field, and we'll put a message in here so that when somebody selects PayPal, this message displays. Um, just inform them, hey, this is the next step. You're going to be redirected to PayPal after you complete this purchase. So we'll, we'll put that note in there, and then we'll we'll set up the conditional logic um, so that it supports that. Uh, payment type is PayPal. It's the only time we'll see this message. So we can go ahead and, and update that. Uh, actually, I'm going to change this message real quick. Um, after clicking update, submit, you will be redirected to PayPal to complete your payment. All right, so now if we update this and go to preview, again, pay later, credit card shows the additional field. Now PayPal is showing you this additional message. And that's all we have for you here in this video. So we'll see you in the next one.